We come to air this hour with two major rulings just released by the state Supreme Court. First, the state's highest court has decided to allow Florida voters to decide whether to protect abortion rights. The issue will now be placed on the November about a ballot this upcoming election cycle. If approved, the proposed amendment would basically protect the right to an abortion after the state here in Florida in back to back years passed tougher restrictions currently being challenged in our Florida court system. Opponents of the measure, including State Attorney General Ashley Moody, argued that the proposed amendment is deceptive and that voters won't realize just how far it would expand access if approved. The state Supreme Court ruling on the ballot initiative also comes as the court also upheld Florida's ban on most abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. That means a subsequently passed six-week ban on abortions in Florida can soon take effect. WPTV Chris Gilmore is in studio right now with reaction to both sides of this issue on reproductive rights in Florida. Chris. Yeah, Megan, a lot of moving parts here we were talking about earlier. If the amendment gets 60%, that's a super majority in November, it'll eliminate the 15-week abortion ban currently on the books in the state. The summary of the amendment in question reads, no law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health as determined by the patient's health care provider. Additionally, it won't change the requirement to notify a parent or guardian before a minor gets an abortion. In February, the Attorney General's office argued the ballot title and language doesn't reflect the breadth of the amendment. Also, part of the argument raised by opponents is the lack of explanation of what, quote, before viability means in terms of weeks. We spoke to both sides. If the amendment passes, it will basically return us to how gynecological practice was in Florida before 2022. Read it over and over and over again, there's a red flag, red flag. And when it says patient's health, I said, that's a huge red flag. There's two patients here, Chris, two. There's the mother and there's a the baby, but the left thinks that there's no baby there. A lot can happen before now in November if it passes on the ballot amendment. That would take effect in 2025. Jen? Chris Gilmore for us tonight. And abortion protection is not the only issue that will be on the November ballot. The Florida Supreme Court also gave the green light for voters to decide the future of recreational marijuana here in the Sunshine, Sunshine State. If Amendment 3, as it's now known, is approved by at least 60% of Florida voters, adults 21 years or older would then be allowed to possess, purchase, or use marijuana products and marijuana accessories for non-medical personal consumption. This proposed amendment would also remove criminal and civil penalties, all of them for people 21 and older who use marijuana.